Hey girls, the world, it says these things. It's not who you are, it's about how you're seen. So polish up your outsides, because girls must live between. Eyes like Bambi, soft and innocent, with a sway in your hips, let the boys know they're getting it. Gloss on your lips, begging to be kissed by one boy, not ten. There's a limit, you all. Cross it and watch your reputation fall like thermometer's mercury on a blizzard cold day. You have heard it said there is a fine line between leaving them wanting and letting them have you. One tiny breath between trash and tees and girls. You got to walk that line like a gymnast on a balance beam. You have heard it said, but I say to you, I say to you, you are beautifully and wonderfully made with enough starlight on the inside to glitter on the outside. And you don't have to dress it up with cleavage and sparkle and glitter and strut because, girl, God made you. God made you enough. Being a woman's not about how you get touched, but how you reach out into the world of ache and show love. Mm. All right, men, you know what they say. You got to pay your own way, so don't be a sissy and don't be gay. Man up. If I could change a two-word phrase in the English language, it would be man up. See, man down, that's for our brothers in battle. Man sideways, that's for the jerk in the bottle. Man left, no man's left behind. Man right, Shelly tells me no man is ever right. <laughs> so man up it is. But I say to you, man up should mean something else. It should mean that you cultivate enough strength to acknowledge when you're weak, when others are wrong, that you will always speak. It means you love who God has made you. You will not change when another surveys you. Man up means you know where your allegiance lies. Man up means your man up is the man up in the skies. Who's your man? Who's your man? You have heard it said, you can have it all. The beamer and the minivan. The career, the carpool, the smoking hot man. Girls night in Vegas, vacays in Paris, bikini cookouts with family and friends. But sweetie pie, dreams don't make themselves. To have all things, you got to be all things. It's just not enough to be pretty or smart. you got to be an athlete and be good at art. President of at least four clubs, play the tuba, volunteer, make daddy proud, make mama cheer. You have heard it said you can have it all. And if you don't, you will fall in the eyes of your peers, your parents, yourself. You'll fall to the back of the useless kid shelf with other middle of the roaders who never stood out. So do not sleep and do not rest. You're only nothing or the best. You have heard it said, but I say, but I say, you, dear child, won't know you're enough. If you measure your worth in check marks and stuff, the world's math is bogus. For adding up you, you're not trophies plus sashes times the size of your posse or report cards to the power of your number of shoes. You don't have to be everything just to be something. Just be God's perfectly created you. A child knit together before dreams were dreamed of. Made with an extra spoonful of heart. Made in the image of a masterful potter. You, precious child, are one fine work of art. Your price tags no tally of your job applications, your extracurriculars, the brand of your purse, the sum of ridiculous acts of compassion, that is God's formula for measuring worth. So for the sweet baby Jesus in heaven above, stop trying to be perfect and just perfectly love. Mm, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, men, you have heard it said, either succeed or be dead, win the family's bread. You know the drill, don't be shrill, never whine, never get left behind, never suffer to be aligned, never admit defeat, never be weak. It's all about swagger, you gotta have the moves like Jagger. But don't be a braggart, be strong, be silent, be logical like Spock, and never ever talk about your biological clock. But I say to you, we hold these treasures in clay jars. That's what we are. Clay jars broken apart, full of shards, flung near and far. That's what we are. More out of heart than a work of art, imperfect from the very start. So take heart. Your failure doesn't have to define you. You can leave that behind you. And swagger doesn't make you great, nor your physiological state. 
Jesus said, the greatest is the weakest. Now, that might seem the bleakest way to talk, but turn the other cheek. It's what we do. All that other stuff just doesn't stand. Jesus says it's love that makes the man. 